Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on the Savage Wilds map, building a mansion. This is a fairly new modded map that I've seen a lot of people praise, so I thought I would build on it today. This video is a speed build, as the build itself was quite long, but I thought I'd take a moment to explain exactly what the Savage Wilds map is. Savage Wilds is a custom map added to Conan Exiles on the Steam Workshop and is aimed at the PvE, PvP and it seems primarily the role-playing communities. It seems to have been created by a team of 6 people over about the last year and it was released on the 29th of January this year. This is a fairly expansive map, it's almost the same size as the Exiled Lands and it boasts a healthy mix of biomes in a fairly straightforward map design. The mod offers a new fast travel system through Shima the Caravaneer, who you can pay to take you wherever you want to go. Purges are also guaranteed to have thrallable humans, which is a nice addition. There are three NPC factions, a mercantile system across all vendors, and even roleplay support locations where only admins can build. Functionally, Savage Wilds adds some really nice things, and best of all, it uses absolutely no base game assets, meaning any well-made mod will work on this map. I've tested that myself with quite a few mods including less building placement restrictions, Savage Steel, Crafty Counters, Pippi, Northern Timber and more, and they have all worked absolutely flawlessly on this map. In terms of the actual map itself, I was very pleasantly surprised. The map offers plenty of variety in terms of environment and geography, but still offers tons of desirable building areas pretty much everywhere you look. I took the time to have a trawl through all of the biomes, and pretty much all of them had prime building areas readily available all around the biome. There aren't many areas where it's not feasible to build or it just wouldn't work, it seems like every area has been designed with building in mind. Given how Frustrating it can be at times to build on both Siptar and the Exiled Lands, this is a welcome change, it's a breath of fresh air when it comes to scouting for building locations. In my opinion, this is a damn good map. It's the first custom map I've played on Conan, and considering the mod itself is only about 1.3 gig, it offers a good sized map with a ton of content. Savage Wilds is very clearly a passion project that has been crafted with care and attention, and it really does show. It's great for building, regular gameplay and roleplay, and it's no surprise that it's received such positive attention. I don't really have too much experience with roleplay servers in Conan, it's something I've looked at a few times but never really got into, I've always been more of a GTA roleplay kind of person. However, I think Savage Wilds will be a pretty big hit in that community. There are probably already some servers that are running the Savage Wilds map, however I think as it grows and gets more popular, you'll begin to see it more and more within the role-playing community. Personally, I would love to see the Savage Wilds adopted by Funcom at some point and turned into an official map available to console players. This map is great, and seeing as Ark had so much success with community-made maps being officially adopted, Conan could also benefit from that too. Anyway, that is about all I have to say for the Savage Wilds. It's a very impressive map, and I'm, I'm very happy that I tried it out. I'll leave you with the rest of the speed build I do hope you enjoy. Don't forget to check out my links in the description for my Discord, Twitch, Patreon and NordVPN discounts. If you enjoy the video at any point, do feel free to hit the big red subscribe button. Only 20% of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel, so if you like what you see, subscribe and join the coffee cult, there is plenty more content just like this coming soon. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the build.